Hi guys, uh, Nenadi speaking and welcome to our uh, session recap. It's Monday and uh, as you can see, we are always on time. Try to be very, very precise with time. <clears throat> Hi everyone. I see some uh, comments here. Hi guys. Uh, how is it? Uh, Ali and uh, David and Bob and uh, Francis. So uh, David, uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, people of course, watching the videos and recorded videos on YouTube. So, uh, as I always say, try to bring your friends and, of course, your business partners or whoever uh, to uh, these webinars because these are free recap webinars. And I'm always trying to be very, very clear with what I'm uh, presenting, with what I'm saying, and, of course, with the overall, overall uh, look of our uh, session recaps. So let me just uh, adjust the camera here. Yeah, so weekly forex recap uh, November uh, five and euro dollar pound dollar Australian dollar dollar yen BDC dollar uh, trade ideas and setups. Uh, before we start, as always, quick disclaimer explaining that all line uh, uh, materials are exclusively developed by Elite Currency and everything you will see here is solely my opinion and my trading ideas. Uh, have in mind that forex trading is leveraged uh, product and it's uh, risky so you need to take care of the risk always trading rules uh, you need to give price a breathing room uh, always try to enter in the zone it's called the poc zone add a spread to your stop loss uh, even if you trade by ecn at two to five pips spread depending on pair traded uh, also for equities for everything guys that you uh, that you trade uh, at the spread to your stop loss and a little bit more like two to five pip, uh, especially if you trade Forex market. Uh, also, we take one position per listed pair with either take alternative trade or positional trade. Positional trade are trend trades, alternative trades are counter trend trades. Okay, have in mind that uh, when you're doing counter trend trades, you should lower the, uh, norm, your normal risk. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be done and traded independently of any position. Uh, for Forex, of course, uh, depending on time and volatility, we use profit stop usually up to 20 pips, but not less for equities and commodities. Also, guys, whatever you see, protect your profits. Even if you go to sleep, uh, use your uh, trailing stop expert advisor, just trail the stop as it goes in profit. If we see a trade that is uh, actually running in nice profits. Okay. A scalp trade level should be done at or uh, very close to important support resistor levels calculated by historical levels in Camarilla. Add these levels to your system and pay attention to trend, guys. Uh, even if uh, our trade is missed by, I don't know, a few pips, trade setup, whatever, uh, try to spot the overall trend so you might uh, enter maybe at a different price. And the term pips pool, it is the maximum available number of pips you could have made on my recap entries. Julian is asking, can you explain the way you do trailing stop? Yeah, I mean, usually how I do it is, for example, uh, if I'm 20, 25 pips in profit, uh, I scale out. Uh, it means that I take the half of my position uh, as a profit and the rest I put to break even plus one. For example, today I traded the GBP dollar and uh, I didn't know that uh, there would be some Brexit news coming in. And I was like 25 pips in profit and suddenly when I... When I when I saw it one moment, I was 25 pips in profit. I didn't protect it, and then it dropped. And then I decided to close it for some 15 pips of a loss. And uh, an hour later, I re-entered uh, GBP long, and I protected 35 pips of profit. Just because I see that the price is really up and down, we, we don't know what can happen. It can spike our stop loss and then return. It's it's because you know. Uh, especially because of Brexit, because of all the data coming in, all these news, telltales, rumors, whatever, everything is kicking in and uh, it can easily reject or, or, or uh, spike the price. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Robin is saying he made 5% of his account on the GBP dollar today. Yeah, thanks, Robin. I don't know, are, are you trading with us uh, you know, with ECS Live? Because I sent a signal to Telegram uh, group. If, you, if you're trading, then that's great. I mean... I had one loss and one win, but it's okay. I mean, at least uh, ah, his own strategy. Okay. Yeah, because we had actually a small loss of 15 pips and then 35 pips secured. So 
you know, intraday trading is like that. But on dollar yen, for example, I, we also secured like 30 pips. And basically last week, uh, not regarding these recaps, just for ECS Live last week, we had uh, 11, I think, wins and three losses. So it's, it's a very good result. Now, guys, let me uh, go with trading results. These are trading results for the previous week, of, of course. Uh, uh, Faiz, yeah, just a, a guys, give me a few seconds to answer uh, Faiz's question. Why don't you see my FX book anymore? Okay, I will be straight with you. Uh, I stopped uh, updating this account because I updated full Camarilla MACD system uh, to a great extent. Also, a couple of trades that I said that were done with, I don't know, one. Oh, sorry, guys. Just need to turn the phone off. Oh, sorry. Wait. Okay. And few trades. When I said I was I was doing it with 1% or 2% of risk, it was a slightly more risk. So, you know, it's like I don't want that people think that all of them can make 100% of profit by, by just risking, uh, let's say, 1% each time. So I made 100% of profit and I closed this account with 45% of profit. But it was not like each time I did one 1% of risk. And I, I wanted actually, when I updated my Camarilla MD light method, it, it's completely now different method. It's basically revamped method. I decided also to open a new MyFix book account where I will really take trades with very, very small risk. So. Uh, maybe there won't be like 45 or 100 percent gain, but still I will be, uh, as I say, I will be uh, completely honest with traders with uh, risking uh, that 1 percent or 0 0.5, maximum 2 percent per risk. Because a lot of traders ask me, Nenad, I want to make 100 percent. And I said yes, but uh, sometimes I took slightly bigger risk. It was not always the fixed risk. So I wanted to make it clear. Revamp method. Also because of that, uh, old Camarilla MACD was doing great. But when you have completely revamped the system and completely, uh, you you need to have completely fixed risk, then you need to do another MyFX book account. Because some people will think that they can do exactly as I do. And it, it's not okay. It, it should be clear. Yeah, we, we need to, we need to be transparent. So I felt a little bit, you know, how can I say it, it's okay. I don't need to explain that I took, I don't know, 5% of risk instead of 1%. But I felt a little bit uncomfortable when traders ask me, Nana, did you really do it with only 1% of risk? You know, I need to be honest. I didn't always take 1%. But uh, next time, it next uh, thing, it, it will be called Camarilla MACD Telegram, fixed risk. And then I will be doing uh, that kind of account. And of course, new revamp, Camarilla MACD Lite, because we really have great trades on ECS Live with Camarilla MACD Lite. So that is the reason, guys. We want to be fully transparent. And I will uh, soon open a new account with that fixed risk. And you will you will be able to see it. I mean, no problems at all. So that is, that is the truth. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you see, guys, now the question. Okay, I just need to, guys, answer these questions and, and then I will I will, I will, will get back to this webinar. Please bear with me. How about by uh, risking 2% since Camarilla make the new light version is better than the previous one? You, you see now the question. <laughs> you know, guys, every person in this room and a lot of traders who are watching this now on YouTube will say, Nenad, you can risk 5%, you're a great trader. Other traders will say, Nenad, why don't you risk 10%? Your system is absolutely fantastic. Other people will say, Nenad, do not risk 2%. Try to risk only 1% because that is what you're preaching. Teach us how to lower the risk. Every person has its own risk appetite. I really cannot you know, now explain. We can do 1%, 2%. I will not be risking more than 2%. I, I, I will promise you that. And I'm, I, I make a, I, I, I'm promising it now. Not more than 2%. But maybe one trade will be 0 0.5. Other trade will be one maximum 2% per risk. But it won't be like 5% per risk as I did with the previous account. So up to 2%, it's okay. But you still need to do your own thing. Whether it will be uh, 1 or 2 or 0 0.5, I will be doing that between 0 0.5 and 2%. And let's say that one is the average, but sometimes 0 0.5, sometimes two. One, of course, 
as the average, and that's it. And you see, David is saying Nanard really values transparency. New camera uh, light is fire. My risk management is discretion up to 3%. It's okay. I'll try to keep it 2%. It will be up to 2%. You can do it, guys, whatever you want on your own account. But if I put my account on my FX book, it really needs to be fully transparent. So, you know, as I'm saying, uh, and I will I will write it down when I when I make it in in um, in uh, on, on, when I upload it to my FX book I will write it down fixed risk up to two percent zero point five slash two percent yeah so that, that's always the best guys believe me guys always the best because then you know you, you you're like <laughs> it's always like you want to risk more guys you do it yourself if I want to risk more I need to be transparent. Because I'm a teacher, I'm a mentor, I teach you, right? So it's a little bit different. Okay, now guys, uh, okay, 29th of October, results. This is the result, guys, for the last week. Okay, 410 maximum pips. This isn't my result. This is hypothetical result that could have been achieved if you follow these trading setups and ideas. The trade of the week, dollar yen and the BDC dollar. And this is the euro dollar, guys. Just watch the screen. This a vertical red line represents the time of uh, my webinar. It's always the same time, okay? The platform time, right? So you need to actually uh, just give me a few seconds. A lot of messages here and yeah, questions, answer, whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Okay, guys. So you see Euro dollar. This is the time of Euro dollar. Uh, and uh, this is basically... I will get back to your question just after I finish with the results. So uh, you see here, the, the price was uh, 1320. If you had a buy position, that is good. It went up a lot of, lot of, lot of rejection to the upside, huge reje rejection to the upside. And uh, you could have made some nice pips, guys, here. Uh, well, a lot of, lot of potential pips here. But also, uh, wait, uh, yeah, dollar yen was the trade of the week. And you will see why. So euro dollar excellent trade result and gbp dollar unfortunately was a loss if i had put a stop loss a little bit lower this trade would have been in huge profits you see the price dropped to our poc zone and then suddenly it it spiked a little bit but it was not enough guys it hit stop loss and then spiked hugely to the upside Ilya has just joined. Hi, Ilya. Nice to see you here again. So I'm showing the result. If you missed the result, this was the result for the previous week. So Euro dollar, excellent trade. Pound dollar could have been excellent if I had put the stop loss just a little bit lower. The Australian dollar, uh, again, nice trade also from the Australian dollar. Rejection from 71.10 and bang to the downside nice rejection uh, australian dollar gave us some nice pips then dollar yen uh, the trade of the week dollar yen was in uptrend and guys i said by 112 30 uh, slightly that the up upside curve was even more shallow than uh, the euro dollar so i i have decided that dollar yen actually was the trade of the week also i don't say that euro dollar was also very very good excellent trade but dollar yen was a top notch and you see, bang, to the upside, 130 and 38, uh, exactly to the to the target. And uh, I decided the dollar yen actually was the trade of the week. The BDC dollar also, guys. Again, the BDC dollar. Straight rejection, of course, after some drawdown. We always use fixed stop loss, uh, 100 pips. So for all of you who trade, uh, I always say I don't trade the BDC dollar. I'm honest with you. I don't trade it. But I do the, an the analysis. Uh, the leverage is slight, uh, it's a bit lower with, with the with a bdc dollar so uh i'm trying to stay out of this market at this point and especially because of volatility but i know that a lot of traders actually want me to analyze it put set up so that is why i'm doing this again excellent result from the bdc dollar possible 150 pips possible straight rejection okay uh the price went up then down it didn't hit stop loss and then it went up heavily to the upside making even a gap here so I think that uh, dollar uh, that the BDC dollar was an excellent trade, uh, coupled with dollar yen and euro dollar. This has been the trade of the week. Now, this week, new setups: euro dollar, 
position sell 1475 buy position 1350 so this is my setup for the euro dollar i think that euro dollar can uh, actually uh, make a nice uh, trade a nice opportunity to the upside uh if it drops a little bit down so i will actually show you right now yeah uh, this is the euro dollar uh, now we are having some situation on a daily chart and weekly actually now it's still in downtrend okay i will i will use other because we are doing like mostly intraday setups so euro dollar you see it's it's still ranging but uh, here we had actually some lean head and shoulders that looks like a fail pattern because the price didn't break this low here okay you see this is like lean head and shoulders and the price now is making a v-shaped reversal here this is v-shaped reversal so i guess that the price could if it drops here if it drops here this would be a good for a buy position because stop loss would not be big and it has the possibility to go to 407075 big uh, confluence here of daily pivot point and i think this is also yeah monthly uh, yeah weekly pivot point and monthly pivot point so if you go to four hour time frame camarilla will switch so you see it's monthly h4 close to weekly h4 and i think this could be a nice chance that actually this pair hits uh, this level and then maybe sell okay but until then i would be buying if it drops okay so watch for a drop or a sell here next is uh, the gbp dollar uh gbp dollar is a uh, buy position 30 0, 0, stop is 29.50 tp 13.20 sell 31.20 stop 31.60 and uh, tp 3060 i already traded this today and made some pips uh, i still have some scale ins because i scaled in and i, I have some partial trades here guys uh managing my uh profits now so definitely the gbp dollar is uh in uh uptrend but i think that uh, now the price is a little bit rangy however if it drops to this point it has the possibility to jump again but uh, stop loss needs to be very very exact here so if you want to take it take it uh, as i say this trade is still is running now at this point but i would like to see more upside because if i see that prices really cannot break 30 50 30 60 then there is a possibility that it will reject down again so take this trade with a special care the australian dollar is in uptrend also one of the trades that i'm running 7200 is buy 7170 stop tp 7920 there is 7220 because the trade is this is yes david this is ecs live trade and i'm in this trade uh, here at this point you will see this is the, the australian dollar now this trade actually is my camarilla make the light trade for all of you who don't know what camarilla make the light is it is the latest module that i developed for camarilla make the method and simply this is the model that i uh, trade the most and it's four hour time frame i like also my of course mtf and cdd but this module is very very suitable also for uh, swing traders for traders who like to hold on positions a bit longer and it has a confluence with murray mat and camera levels so guys one of the trades that i took here weekly uh, uptrend daily retracement four hour entry here guys actually the price came here it started to reject okay and i entered at uh, the rejection above this uh triple top above this triple top so uh based on the rules best new buy sell for eight weekly camarilla range consolidation uptrend i think it should spike to the upside uh i don't go out uh, david i will hold this trade definitely uh, whatever happens with this trade i'm holding it uh it's not a big stop loss uh, really the risk is very small here and uh i will i will leave it overnight whatever happens yeah i will not go out and bookie has joined the uh, hi bookie yeah uh, as you can see people are still joining here so this is the trade i'm gonna really leave it definitely here so the australian dollar or live trade now the dollar yen uh, again made uh, pips on dollar yen on friday and uh, we secured 
we secured profits on dollar yen. I think we secured like 35 pips. Now this is a free ride, but I still think there is a possibility that the dollar yen will actually uh, go up uh, because obviously here, guys, uh, now this was actually the trade on. Yeah, I mean, I'm running the trade from this spot because this was a Friday trade, Camarilla make delight. And uh, we entered here. Now we are still in. The price needs to break the range. The range, guys, remember, uh, Camarilla make delight. Uh, uh, it, just Camarilla, not make the light. It's Camarilla uh, indicator. When the price is between H1 and L1, this means uh, range. Also, when you have daily uh, H1 and daily L1 on intraday charts, this is range. Yeah. So this is going up. I will, yeah, Ilya, I will reply to your question. Good question. Muki, uh, if you have the access to uh, Camarilla make the light on our uh, website, uh just download it if not uh, drop me an email uh now and i will send it uh, when i finish with this webinar because you already uh, bought it so you whenever you buy a module you have the right uh, to receive free updates forever so that's it yeah good you're right rba interest rate decision tonight but i'm gonna leave this trade i i maybe we will be stopped out maybe we will actually protect the trade if this trade goes 20 pips in profit i will protect it 25 pips but this looks tempting to me this really looks tempting uh maybe it will go up uh, based on this these candles it should go more to the upside this this looks also like you see now like consolidation and i hope that it will go up mm, it should not be lower the, uh, they should not lower the rate i also think that they will not lower the rate and now it looks like the price is bullish indeed so this is my setup now uh next question is the bdc uh, next uh, setup is the bdc dollar again uh, 64 35 is buy position 63 35 stop loss tp 65 20 sell is 65 20 stop loss 66 20 always 100 pips guys stop loss tp 64 40 and this is now the bdc dollar let me just uh, bring the chart up the BDC dollar. Wait, wait, wait. I have it here down. I guess. Yeah. Uh, you see a bit uh, rangy price section here, but uh, on daily it's uh, it's mixed, totally mixed. Uh, it still has the possibility to spike if you go to intraday time frame. Okay. You see, it's uptrend. Now, this will probably change overnight because each Monday, uh, Camarilla trend shows, shows ranging until new day, on Tuesday is actually, until Tuesday levels are calculated. So, uh, this is uptrend. We have a gap here, but I think that the price already, I think this is the close of the gap. So, if it drops a little bit down, possibility to go up, make inverted head and shoulders, and it should go up. Yeah, so this is looking like bullish price action indeed here. So guys, I will roll the slides now. You can ask me questions. I will reply to your comments. So let's see if you have any questions. This is the Euro dollar. This is the GBP dollar. This is now the Australian dollar. This is the dollar yen. And this is the bitcoin dollar okay and of course uh, now i will reply to your questions yes the australian dollar yen uh, yeah yeah this was the question yeah dollar yen long trend uh australian dollar long we should also look for long on australian dollar yen this is the australian dollar yen i will bring it to my camera make the light template the Australian dollar yen. Just give me a few seconds. Uh, the Australian dollar yen. Uh, okay. Wow. This is this is looking like a bullish setup. Definitely, definitely, definitely bullish setup. Uh, yeah. I think Ilya, you're right. But watch this. It's already above eight eight. So I would say, but it's between weekly. So this is consolidation. This this is telling me that it, this is bullish consolidation. Definitely bullish consolidation here. 
So if it drops a little bit more, or if it starts to overshot this overshot 1.8 above this, above weekly each one, this is long, definitely. Definitely, I'm favoring long, Zilia, on Australian dollar yen. The only thing is RBA decision. If RBA is bullish, the Australian dollar yen will go up. I'm sure about it. So this is looking bullish indeed. And David, yeah, it's definitely mildly bullish RBA. So I think, guys, that if you trade, as Ilya was saying, you can place a lot as it drops, or you can even use bigger stop loss, but not risking more than 2%. So calculator is this should be bullish, both Australian dollar uh, yen and the Australian dollar. Let me just open the chart now. This is looking bullish, guys, really. Watch this. Also, very similar. It's 4.8. It's even better for me, this Australian dollar, because it's best you buy sell with weekly Camarilla level. You know, guys, that uh, this weekly CM means weekly pivot point. Uh, price is usually bought or sold at the pivot point. That is what big traders do, big banks, hedge fund managers. They're actually buying and selling at a pivot. If this is the trend and now it's bullish trend, this should be a buy now on the Australian dollar, right? I mean, just think logically. Yeah, as, as and also Australian dollar yen. The only thing that is a little bit bothering me is it's too much to the upside, but then again, it's bullish consolidation. So if the Australian dollar yen spikes to the upside, guys, it will also bring the Australian dollar up because you see they're correlated and now this will print out new levels. Uh, extreme overshot plus to it so it will be very bullish then it will make another consolidation in new Murray Mac octaves i studied Murray Mac a lot alongside camarilla and i was always saying that besides my camarilla Murray Mac is uh, the best pivot point indicator that is what i've been using now uh, in confluence with camarilla macd Murray Mac levels this is our indicator ecs Murray Mac and this is the dashboard yeah this is my template actually and yeah, and I won't be saying which moving averages that is because this is secret. Only people who have the access to Camarilla MACD light or full course, course uh, have this indicator. This is the best moving average combination out of all. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is it. I mean, we, we will see. But I think that, uh, yeah, David is saying, I will agree with NKT that it's me, actually. People are calling me an NKT because of my initials, Nana Kerkes Tarantula, NKT. So, yeah, uh, if if you don't know who it is, that's me. And uh, it's tempting. Yeah, I'm saying discretionary Australian dollar trade simply because of the RBA decision. Please use lower risk because it's risky, risky event. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we risk about, if we think about money management, should we trade only the Australian dollar? And skip Australian dollar yen if you can put it within your risk limits. Like let's say that your overall risk is three, four percent, then try to put both trades in the overall risk limit. If you decide for you one, maybe I will, I will go with the Australian dollar simply because uh, it's it's lower. It's lower than the Australian dollar yen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in forex market, it's usually you are either bullish or bearish the the, the dollar. But you still have other crosses that can influence the price. But yeah, it's about a dollar mostly. And Ilya, yes, uh, there is a positive yield rate overnight with uh, with the Australian dollar yen. That is called swap, the overnight rate. Yeah. Uh, David is saying, I would say the MA is for a light indicator, but I was sworn to secrecy to the Spider King. <laughs> Yeah, funny comments. Nice guys, it's it's actually good that we use the software crowdcast. This we, we can we can uh, we can chat. Yeah, Ilya. Basically, what David is saying uh, is that uh, we we do not reveal uh, this e, uh, this EMA to the public, but this is the combination that I put on Camilla MacD uh, light template. It's completely new combination, and it's been thoroughly tested. Very very good combo. And uh, we actually use it in the Camarilla MACD light template. It gives us the trend perfectly. So, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely, uh, I like this Camarilla MACD light template. And uh, I don't think that there will be some updates any, anytime soon because the market is now, I, I, I saw the big problem when to enter the market, if the market is actually 
uh, having a big, big, big retracement and then small uh, uh, trend movements. We need to actually enter at the, at the exact end of retracement. And I think I sold it with this template. Uh, okay, uh, any further questions? Gold, can I analyze gold? Of course, a goal is, I will do XAU USD. Uh, gold, uh, mm -hmm, yeah, this is retracement, possible spike. Uh, I would say 12, 26 possible long position based on the chart. Yeah, weekly is up, four hour is dropping now. So this is retracement on four hour. I think this could be a good spot to, uh, yeah. Here, bang, 12, 26 and weekly L3. This, from this spot, it could spike. Uh, here. I think, watch for this. This is also buying here. It could be inverted head and shoulders. This could be the zone for buying, indeed. Uh, uh, yeah, no need to discover a secret. Yeah, Ilya, you I think already know it because you're also, uh, yeah, when we chatted, uh, but uh, yeah, please. You, you, you don't need to tell anyone, but it doesn't matter, guys. I'm here to help you out. These are free webinars, so this is public. Everyone who is watching this see uh, can see my setups for free. Uh, Monday recaps are for everyone. ECS Live is for members. Uh, David is saying, could you analyze Euro New Zealand dollar? Misla was selling it. Yeah, I was missing maybe the chat. I think I was missing the chat uh, from Misla, but yeah this yeah this looks like a sell to me uh similar situation as with the australian dollar yen definitely this is the downtrend and definitely we see the same signal on uh, camarilla mcd light but uh, honestly guys uh, you see this is 08 ultimate support that is why the price is spiking up it's still between h1 and l1 so i would say this could this can reject, but if it breaks this candle, then it will go make a bigger retracement. So if it breaks this range, it could go down, but it's an ultimate support. The only thing that is saying it could go more down is because it's in the, you see, between weekly H1 and weekly L1. So there could be a possibility if it breaks here that it will be a bigger spike. I would be careful with this. Yes, it's an ultimate support, but here in the range, weekly L1, weekly H1, you see, there is still more room here, bigger confluence, but it's this is this is very dangerous. 08. Yeah, 08 is dangerous. That is why I would be careful. And that is why I like the Australian dollar more, because it's at a 48, not at the 08. Uh dollar cat, a question. Daniel and Ilya asking about dollar cat. Yeah, I was, I was, I knew that it would be bullish, guys. I didn't take the trade, but definitely weekly uh, is uh, and now it's bullish. Four hour rejection, so this should be up. This should go up. Yeah, exactly from this spot, guys. Now you see, uh, MACD is still below the zero line. But what I would do, guys, listen to me. What I would do, if MACD crosses above zero line, that will be a big spike to the to the upside. So next leg, wait for the next leg to the upside and wait for the retracement. If we see a next leg to the upside and retracement, you buy on retracement. If you see a retracement, go long at retracement. That is my uh, uh, answer regarding dollar, dollar cat. Not now, but next spike and then retracement. You go up. Uh, yeah, dollar uh, and uh, Chinese yuan and gold inverse relationship bullet. Yeah, I'm not particularly trading, uh, I don't particularly trade uh, the dollar Chinese yuan, but yeah, there could be uh, inverse relationship. I need to study it a little bit, but thanks for the information, Bullet. Yeah, this is like V-shaped reversal here, indeed. You see, V-shaped reversal here, bang to the upside. Just watch this, guys. This is scholastic example. V-shaped reversal, watch this. Diving board, bang, bang, bang. Now, if what I would say here is this trend line has been broken, now it's going up. Wow. Next leg of buying and then retracement. You buy. David is asking about buying the GBP New Zealand. Let's see the GBP New Zealand. I will analyze it right now. 
Yeah, GBP pairs are bullish. I guess GBP New Zealand is also bu bullish. No, it's not. <laughs> Maybe it will make a spike. Again, ultimate support. But this is bearish on weekly. Daily probably retracement. Yeah, this is actually short. But then again, you see where the price is. Ultimate support. So I would say if it goes here and you see a sell signal, sell it. Yes, Chris, I think, was right about the GBP New Zealand. This should go up, and then when it goes more to the upside, you sell it. At least here, guys. Weekly H4, monthly H1. You see the confluence here. Monthly H1, weekly H4, and Marimat level. So here, wait for this, and then if you see a uh, uh, signal for a sell, sell it. Yeah. Yeah, really, really, uh, 0 0.8 is ultimate support. Very strong, guys. You can always scalp the ultimate support if you see that the price is stoning. So be careful. Yeah, I would I would say if the price gets here, bang, you sell it. Guys, I think we covered most of it. I hope that you are satisfied with the webinar. And uh, yeah, the question is, L1 and, and H1 is not a big confluence. I'm just using this for a range uh, measurement. When you see the price between L1 and H1, it's the range. So I would say this is better. Here, 1.8, monthly H1, H4. Monthly levels are different. They're not weekly levels because daily and weekly are okay. But when the price is ranging on monthly, it's usually huge number of pips. So you don't take any confluence as the confluence here the better example is you still have monthly h1 but weekly h4 guys and 18 here this is important 18 guys you need to wait the price is at is at uh, it's at ultimate support so i would say wait here and then sell it because weekly h4 is resistance this is resistance the price is still in downtrend at least you should have 30 40 pips to the downside Yeah, and the AMAs are also flat. One of the indicators is also flat, and between weekly H1 and L1, you see the price is ranging. I would say here, yeah, if you go by the rules of Camarillo MACD Light, you still have one more filter, you know, MACD. And if you go with naked trading, I think this could be a good level to sell it. So that's it, guys. Thank you for listening. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, webinar. This is being recorded. It will be uploaded. And I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, guys, uh, Price Action Trading School, also for free, each Wednesday. See you in two days. For all of you who are trading uh, with uh, our group on Telegram channel, of course, guys, uh, you, you know what to do. I always update it, and I will update if anything happens. And, and now I will roll the slides, guys, and I will finish it. And... I wish you a very good trading day, a very good trading week. And uh, yeah, thank you for all comments. David is saying he's just being impatient, too much adrenaline. Yeah, David, I know that you like motorcycles, but I do not drive H2R outside of the track. H2R, Kawasaki, is the fastest motorcycle. You need to drive it only on the track. It's not meant to be... Uh, to be uh, to be uh, ride uh, on on uh, normal tracks. It's not for that. Only on sports rate tracks. Think about it. Dollar yen, and finally the BDC dollar. Sometimes this looks like H2R indeed. See you guys very soon. Love you all. Cheers. Trade safe.